Good morning. Uh, back again, folks. Andreas here, aka the Grecian Thunder. Um, so I wanted to um, respond to Lazarus's uh, 300 subscriber um, contest slash thread. Um, congratulations, Dwayne, man. I love watching your videos and that, <laughs> that Christmas car thing. <laughs> I was over at my cousin's coming night over there on Christmas Eve and, uh, and saw that and, <laughs> oh man, I was cracking up. It was like, you know, I'm always early, the early riser on Christmas Eve ever since I was a kid. I get up at like five in the morning. I'm so excited to see what Santa has brought, but, uh. Dwayne, you're a uh, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Hopefully, um, since you're since you're so close, maybe one of these days I'll get down to San Francisco area, the Bay Area, and get to meet you. Um, maybe do some record shopping. I'm hoping to do that. Hopefully next year, I want to do some traveling. Um, you know, a couple days or something. So, um, you asked a few questions, and on the last question, you asked three questions. On the last question I cheated, I've got uh, four albums here that I want to recommend to you. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm the guy that has shown pretty much every record that I own to the VC. So, um, dating back to uh, what when I start March of this year, um, I showed my recent pickups and then I did a series called Alphabet City where I showed pretty much every record I own. Um, besides those, so, unfortunately I can't <coughs> hold to that rule, but rules are for chumps. First question though, um, your favorite record that was recommended by a VC record, v VC member this year, forgive me, it's uh, seven, almost 8 o'clock in the morning, but, uh, it's playing right now. Uh, I, re I really got into this record, um, and I picked it up based off of um, River and Shelly, Cool Ranch Dressing, recommending it. Uh, it's Ganja Sufi, with uh, Sufi and a Killer, it's on Warp Records. Gate Fools, I just love, it's a genre bending record, I guess you'd call it. It's a little hip hop, a little electronic, a little weightsy in a way. It's really cool. Great record. Um, second question. The record you want most shown by a VC member. Um, Dan in Canada um, gets that prize. He was one of the lucky 300 to get um, the Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats record um, put out by Rise Above, or yeah, put out by Rise Above. Um, I really wanted that record. I heard the, their I heard their songs like back in like the late summer, um, and I was like, man, I hope they put this out on vinyl. And then there was talk of Rise Above doing it, and. Um, yeah, they did it, and it sold out within like half hour, hour. So, I mean, maybe one of the stores around here got a couple copies. I don't know. I haven't seen them yet, but yeah, that's the one. The yeah, Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. And then finally, the recommendations for you. Um, I know you play bass, so these first two are going to be bass heavy, um, for my taste. Um, and you can probably still find this in your area, hopefully. Um, I went to Music Millennium, one of my favorite stores, and they were already out of them, but maybe you can find them. Um, if you haven't gotten into the Jesus Lizard yet, my friend, um, David William Sims, right here. Wow. I mean, it. he's not like a technical guy, and I know you're like into like technical stuff somewhat, like, you know, with Maiden and things like that. Um, but as far as tone and style, this guy's got it, man. Um... Yeah, and plus they're just a crazy band. I think you'd dig them. Uh, and this is a live album, double album, so it's like you get the 
full experience. They're such a great live band. So are these guys. Um, if you don't have any, I'm sure you might actually have some. You know, you have tons of records I haven't seen. Um, but uh, Shellac. Whoop. <laughs> Hello. Um, this is at Action Park. This is probably my favorite record by them. Um, put up by Touch and Go. Had this record pretty much since it came out. Um, <laughs> Steve Albini's in this band. I'm sure you know who he is. Mega producer extraordinaire. Um, he's really picky about uh, the kind of uh, the weight of the record, where it's pressed. You know, he's like a sonic, like uber nerd. So, um, and the bass and drums on these records, not to mention the, the scronky guitar. Whew. Shellac rules. Um, Sonic Mainliner recently showed this record. He has a different cover. Um, but I think you would really dig um, this band. They're like an instrumental band for the most part. Um, but they have like really pastoral and, um, you know, elaborate arrangements. Um, kind of world music meets metal in a way. Um, some call it post rock, which. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, this is uh, Grails, and this is Doomsdayer's Holiday. They put this record out, I think it was like three years ago now. Um, and they do have a new one, um, Deep Politics, which is really good too. Um, probably easy to find. And they've reissued some of their back catalog as well. I'll show you the inside cover because there's boobies! <laughs> but yeah, these guys rule. And they're from Portland. Um, and yeah, they don't play very much around here. I haven't seen them yet, but um, they could just put out some great records, great, great instrumentalists. And then finally, A Touch of Evil for you, my friend. Um, if you haven't picked up this record yet, um, I think it's pop metal is the best way to put it, in my opinion. Um, they're actually coming, I don't know if they're coming down to your area, but they're coming to Portland with Blood Ceremony um, at the end of January, and I'm really excited to see them. They just have, the, they have an image, you know, and I'm really into that whole imagery thing when it comes to connecting bands. That's why, like, Devo is one of my favorite bands. Um, because they were the total package, but these guys seem to be along the same lines, and that band is Ghost. Um, this album might be a little harder to find. I know they still have it on Twenty Bucks Spin uh, com. If you guys don't know that website, check it out for metal and stuff like that. But this is their only record thus far. They are Swedish. Jonas might know about them, um, and yeah, it's Ghost. Um, this is Opus Eponymous. And, um, it's pretty much, I don't know what you'd call it, um, yeah, I mean, I say pop metal, just because it has a lot of pop sensibility to it, but the lyrics are, like, super satanic, <laughs> but I think it's, like, um, I'm not sure if it's serious, you know what I mean, like, because the image is so outrageous, um, it could just be, like, a, a farce or a mockery of it, but the, super cool, man, it's like the, the riffs are cool, uh, oh yeah, the vinyl, I've showed this before, but just in case you haven't seen it, uh, bam, really cool, I, I was listening to this record the other day, because I was thinking of stuff to recommend to you, and <clears throat> I was like, yeah, this is it, so, really cool, like, uh, yeah, pop metal record, I mean, it's not, you know, the musicianship isn't like, you know, mwah, but um, it's, a, it's a fun listen. And, and you're a fun guy. That's obvious to me. And I think that's why I would recommend that to you. So there you go, brother. Um, congratulations once again on reaching the 300. Hopefully I'll do so in the next uh, month or so. And I can have a little contest of my own. Um, so yeah, congratulations. I love you. And I can't wait to see more videos from you in this coming year, man. Um, and, yeah. Have a great day. And 
a great new year. Talk to you soon.